Hey Arnold, you know that googling your symptoms is a really bad idea. Oh look, hmm. depressed mood, lack of self-confidence, fatigue. Hmm, maybe you really do have depression. Perhaps you should make an appointment with a psychiatrist. It's really important not to self-diagnose and self-medicate, so don't... <laughs> wow, so many different antidepressants. Something tells me you're not interested in reading the directions either, are you, buddy? All right, so you have two packs of Prozac, 75 tablets of Celexa, five packs of Zoloft, half a jar of Lexapro, and a whole lot of sedative syrups of different varieties and colors. Not that this will necessarily cure your depression, but once you start collecting <laughs> medicines, it's hard to stop. The only thing that really concerns me is the tricyclic antidepressant. But if I know you, I know that sooner or later you'll start using that garbage too. Oh, here we go again. Let's see what you took this time. MAO inhibitors can lead to delirium tremens, hence your hallucinations. Dizziness, tremors, seizures, all are caused by serotonin reuptake inhibitors. The euphoria and pleasure you're experiencing come from tricyclic antidepressants. By the way, did you notice that you haven't eaten in eight hours? Models sometimes take antidepressants to not feel hungry, and dreams under antidepressants appear closer and more tangible. So, Arnie, was it all a dream or was it real? What now? You don't want to self-medicate anymore. Wait, Arnold, what are you doing? You can't flush the pills down the toilet. You ignoramus! Due to antidepressants getting into the sewers, fish have become more aggressive. You remember that Toby is a piranha, right? Due to fluoxetine getting into the water, fish are losing their individuality, and the effect is preserved for generations to come. Dang it, Arnold, you better take him to the vet. Did you already forget what happens when you diagnose and prescribe treatment yourself? Hmm. The piranhas seem to have acquired a taste for human flesh. 